Not all the cells in your body are the same as, in fact, there are loads of different kinds and each one has a particular job, or what scientists call a function. The cool part, every cell is specialized, that means its shape and structure are perfectly adapted to help it do its job really well. Let's check out three kinds of specialized cells inside the human body. First up, red blood cells. These guys are smaller than most other cells, which lets them squeeze through even the tiniest blood capillaries. Their main mission, delivering oxygen all over your body. Inside they're packed with a red pigment called hemoglobin. This is what actually carries the oxygen. And here's a fun fact, red blood cells don't have a nucleus. That leaves more space for hemoglobin so they can carry even more oxygen. Next, let's look at neurons. You can think of these as the body's electrical wiring. Neurons carry signals from one part of your body to another like messages from your brain to your muscles, telling them to move. Each neuron has a super long strand called an axon, so signals can travel really fast. And those short branches, called dendrites, collect signals from other nerve cells, helping your body communicate. And then there are ciliated cells. Along one edge, they've got tiny hairs called cilia that can move. You'll find these cells lining your windpipe, where they help keep your lungs clean. Other cells in this lining make mucus, which traps dust and bacteria when you breathe in. The cilia sweep the mucus up and out, and you just swallow it without even noticing. So, from delivering oxygen to sending messages or keeping your lungs clean, specialized cells are the real most valuable cells of your body, each one adapted to do its job perfectly. What is the main function of a red blood cell? To fight infections. To transport oxygen. To carry nerve signals. To absorb water. Why do red blood cells lack a nucleus? To make them flexible. To allow more space for hemoglobin. To help them divide faster. To protect them from bacteria. Which part of a neuron carries electrical signals quickly over long distances? Dendrites. Axon. Nucleus. Cilia. What is the role of ciliate cells in the respiratory system? To produce oxygen. To sweep mucus and trapped particles away. To absorb nutrients. To carry electrical signals. How do root hair cells increase water absorption? By having many chloroplasts. By having a long, thin extension. By producing mucus. By carrying oxygen. Which specialized plant cell contains many chloroplasts for photosynthesis? Root hair cell. Palisade cell. Ciliate cell. Red blood cell. What is the function of hemoglobin in red blood cells? To fight infections. To bind and carry oxygen. To digest food. To transmit nerve impulses. Which cell type is responsible for communication in the body by transmitting electrical signals? Red blood cells. Neurons. Ciliate cells. Palisade cells. List two things that red blood cells, neurons, and ciliate cells have in common. Cell membrane and cytoplasm. 
nucleus, cilia. Short strands of cytoplasm that collect electrical signals from other nearby nerve cells. Dendrites. Nerve cells. 